So you just got the pool table for Christmas. Is that going to be your new off the court hobby? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, kind of. Uh, my girlfriend got it for me for Christmas, so uh, it was actually a dope Christmas gift. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Um, it's custom. It's custom, so it says my name on it, my name on my pool stick, and um, I'm going to end up having my logo in the middle of it, so it's cool. But that's definitely uh, one thing I'll be getting into, and then trust, uh, and then my uh, DJing skills. Are you going to remix any Tupac tracks? I know you're a big fan. Uh, not, 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 not really. Uh, not, not really remixing. I'm just trying to think of a DJ name right now, though. If J Cole asked you to be on one of his tracks, would you say yes? J. Cole? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I think he saved hip-hop in 2014. How about your boy Swaggy P? Are we going to get on track with him and do something? No, nah, no, nah, Swaggy <laughs> P's not really the rapper. He's more into, like, he, he you know, he, he different now. You know, Swaggy P, he, you know, he's all in Forever 21. Um, you know, his girlfriend bought him a car. You know, he's with Iggy. So, you know, he's all over the place. When it comes to social media, you're really good with the throwback pictures. Is that your social media strength? Uh, well, actually, I got a lot of my pictures from my mother. Um, she would send them to me, especially when I was a little kid playing basketball. Um, the famous one, I think, is the one with, with me wearing a Grant Hill jersey with the Pistons. Uh, Grant Hill actually got it, and uh, he laughed, he chuckled about it because I was about three years old or four or five years old at that time, and he was already in the NBA. You have a great deal with Under Armour. Did you ever see yourself becoming the face of a franchise like that, Under Armour? No, no, out of high school, no, no. Um, my main my main goal and dream was to always come out of high school to the NBA. I mean, because, you know, that was the biggest thing when we were coming up. You know, you saw, like, the Tyson Chandlers, uh, you know, the Kobe Bryant, the Kevin Garnett's, and, and LeBron James and stuff like that. So when they put that rule in, you know, and then the rule came up to uh, Sonny. He said, uh, you know, I can go overseas and play. I said, man, this is just like living my dream, going, going straight out of high school. Do you think that you give Allen Iverson a run for his money? I know you're a big fan of him if you guys played one-on-one. -on -one. And, and Allen Iverson right now are in his prime. Uh, let's, go, let's go with prime. Oh, uh, no, nah, I said, no, nah, no. Nah. Nah, I don't think no man on this earth could guard Allen Iverson in, in his prime. Do you have a favorite tattoo? Do I, have, do I have a favorite tattoo? Yeah, it's my Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles one. And where's that one at? It's right here on my arm, Ro Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. If you ever come to L.A., you got to go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. <laughs> If you could ask anybody a question and you're guaranteed a yes, what would the question be and who do you ask it to? Oh, my girlfriend, would you marry me? She would definitely say yes. <laughs>